from his special traits, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sent with pure tawheed and tolerance. Ibn al-Qaim rahimahullah said, the sending of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam combined pure tawheed, al hanifiya and tolerance, ease, in the religion, and the opposite of this is shirk, and making that which is halal into haram. Sent to man and jinn. The Prophet wasallam said, I have been sent to all of mankind, whereas the prophets before me were sent to their own people. His book and his da'wah. Allah said, Alif Lam Ra. This is a book which we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, that you may bring mankind out of darkness into light by the permission of their Lord, to the path of the exalted in might, the praiseworthy. Surah Ibrahim, ayah number one. His signs. The biggest of his signs, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is the Qur'an. And no prophet or messenger before was given a sign, except that he was given something similar to it, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ruling of he who hates him. A disbeliever, major disbelief, Allah says, Indeed, your enemy is the one cut off. Surah Al Kothar, ayah number three. Loving him is part of faith. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, None of you is a believer until I am dearer to him than his child, his father, and the whole of mankind. Allah's friend, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah has taken me as a close friend, a Khalil, as he took Ibrahim as a close friend. One of the prophets of strong determination, Ulul Azm. Allah said, and mention, O Muhammad, when we took from the prophets their covenant, and from you, and from Noah, and Abraham, and Moses, and Jesus, the son of Mary, and we took from them a solemn covenant. His knowledge, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, I am not the most knowledgeable about Allah. And Allah said, Say, O Muhammad, I did not tell you that I have the depositories containing the provisions of Allah, or that I know the unseen, nor do I tell you that I am an angel. I only follow what is revealed to me. Ruling of those who obey or disobey him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah said, Say, O Muhammad, if you really love Allah, then follow me. So Allah will love you and forgive you your sins. And Allah is oft forgiving and most merciful. Surah Al-Imran. Ayah number 31. And so do not weaken and do not grieve. And you will be superior if you are true believers. Surah Al-Imran, Ayah number 139. The Prophet wasallam said, All of my followers will enter paradise except those who refuse. So they said, O Messenger of Allah, who will refuse? He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Whoever obeys me will enter paradise. And whoever disobeys me is the one who refuses. He also said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah has humiliated whoever goes against my command. His nation, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah said, You are the best nation produced as an example for mankind. You enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong and believe in Allah. Surah Al Imran, ayah number 110. The Prophet wasallam said, By him in whose hand is my life, I hope that you would constitute half of the inhabitants of paradise. His town, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His land was Makkah. Allah said, Indeed, the first house of worship established for mankind was that at Makkah, blessed and a guidance for the world. In it are clear signs such as the standing place of Ibrahim, and whoever enters it shall be safe. 
and due to Allah from the people is a pilgrimage to the house, for whoever is able to find their two away. But whoever disbelieves, then indeed Allah is free from need of the worlds. Surah Al Imran, ayah number 96 and 97. Mecca is a sacred place. As the Prophet said, Allah has made this town a sanctuary since the day He created the heavens and the earth. So it is a sanctuary by Allah's decree till the day of resurrection. And it is for the Muslims until the day of resurrection, as the Prophet said, there is no immigration from Mecca to Al Medina after the conquest of Mecca. His Qibla. His direction of prayer was towards the Kaaba. However, it used to be towards Bayt al Maqdis. Allah said, We have certainly seen the turning of your face, O Muhammad, towards the heaven, and we will surely turn you to a Qibla that which you will be pleased with. So turn your face towards the Masjid al Haram, and wherever you believers are, turn your face toward it in prayer. Surah Al Baqarah, Ayah number 144. Masjid al-Haram in Mecca is the first masjid to be placed on earth. Abu Dhar radiallahu an said, I asked the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about the mosque that was first set up on earth. He said, Al-Masjid al-Haram. Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said, He who came to this house, the Kaaba, with the intention of performing pilgrimage and neither spoke indecently nor did he act wickedly would return free from sin as on the first day his mother bore him. The Prophet ﷺ said, A prayer in Masjid al-Haram is equivalent to 100,000 prayers, and a prayer in my masjid is equivalent to a 1,000 prayers, and a prayer in Bayt al-Maqdis is equivalent to 500 prayers. The Prophet ﷺ said, No religious journey is to be undertaken except to pray in three mosques. The sacred mosque, in Mecca, the Aqsa Mosque, Jerusalem, and this mosque of mine, and Medina. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, also said, When you go to relieve yourselves, do not face the Qibla or turn your back towards it.